What up, folks? I'm back once again doing another video game review. And this time I'm reviewing Need for Speed Most Wanted, which was made by EA and released on the Xbox, PS2, and GameCube. And pretty much the premise of this of this particular racing game you, that you're in, you're be able to race in different types of fast cars while trying to outrun the cops. And there are several different modes in the game, which are like Hot Pursuit, Championship, Single Race, and Quick Race. Now, in the Hot Pursuit mode, you pretty, your default car is really the um, Lotus Elise. And you pretty much earn points by outrunning the cops. And once you're done, like with the race, they'll tally up your points and you earn either gold, silver, or um, bronze. And you can pretty much you'll be able to un unlock other races and other cars to, to race in and try to outrun the cop. And pretty much each race within it has a different point amount that you earn to get either gold, silver, or bronze. And um, championship mode is pretty, is pretty similar like the first race you don't um there's no cops to outrun apparently in that one but it's the, the structure is still set, still the same where you earn enough points to get gold silver or bronze and you can also unlock uh, other races and cars to drive in in those races and with the um single challenge you race Six of the cars, uh, well, it's not six, it's five of the cars were out trying to outrun the cops. And, and pretty much you earn, you pretty much earn points while doing that. I think the only difference is that there's no gold, silver, and um, bronze to, to, to earn, pretty much. And, and the quick race is pretty much the one where you is where you they just give you any um any type of car that's on lock on on it and they was in the uh, race is pretty much picked out too. And one thing about the um the ch not the championship mode but the um single challenges that you pretty much pick how many um pick one or two players whether you want cops or not, stuff like that. So it's so that one has like more choices to it as far as what you want to do in terms of the race. And the um as far as the cars themselves, you, you have different cars like Lamborghinis, um, Ferraris, Dodge Chargers, uh, the um Ford Mustang, different stuff like that. So you're talking about all the all single car is fast, and you can before starting the race, you can pick either automatic or manual. It's depending on which one you feel like comfortable with, as far as that. And truthfully, this is a, a fun game, you know. As far as the graphics and uh, track design of of, of uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is that it, it is pretty good and I uh, like how the design of graphics I do look, you know what I'm saying, and it's, and it's very fitting for the game as a whole regardless of, regardless of which mode you happen to pick, you know what I'm saying. Another thing is that the, um, the uh, soundtrack is pretty good, you, you know what I'm saying, and there's like really no uh, complaints I have of the soundtrack as a whole, you know, but I do have a particular gripe with this game, and it has to do with the controls, and that if you, if you hit, slightly hit like a guardrail or cop car or something like that, it's very easy for you to, uh, uh, lose control of the car, 
while and you end up losing like valuable time as a result and if you're in like a um race against like like five of the cars you can easily like come in last if you do if it's done enough t- if it does enough time, you know, so you know. They should in my opinion, they should have did a better job with the controls in my opinion, you know. Don't get me wrong, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit two is this it is a good game, just that the um controls are particularly frustrating in this game. They should have spent more time uh um working out the bugs on the um on the controls for it's preventing it from going out of control a lot. And to me it's it probably has the worst controls compared to other uh need for speed games in this in the series, you know. As far as the score is concerned, I would definitely give it a seven because the controls are are flawed from the fact that you can, the fact that you um you can easily lose control. There's no way you, you should like end up losing control as much as you do in this particular game. Cause I I don't remember playing any other racing game that, that loses control as much as I did in, in Hot Pursuit 2, you know, that, now with that being said, if you actually like this game, you can mention it in the comment section, you know, if you like, if you like this particular review, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe, this is your boy Big Metroid Fan 12 signing off.